Maybe this isn't the mini-boss, actually. Seems like it's not the mini-boss, okay. Uh, well, okay. So, oh, never mind. These guys have <laughs> just awoken. Now, I have taken note of the fact that there are things to hookshot to on the ceiling there. Okay, this is the mini-boss, actually. So, I don't really know how to deal with this guy, to be honest. I think we're probably going to want to do the Helm Splitter. I think that's what we want to be doing here. Alright, he's going to walk towards us. Okay, so let's... Go to that. Um, I don't really know. What's going on? I think we'll try the Helm Splitter, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh, I will go over to... Damn it. Okay, this seems to be an opportunity to attack him or something. What are we what are we doing here? I'll try and do the Okay, it's not giving me an option to do the helm splitter, so I need to get out of here. Yeah, that ball and chain is a serious problem. Alright, we need to go behind him again. And then I think he moves it at that point. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, okay, so just on his tail, he's got a tail there. Okay, good to see. No, this ball and chain is terrible. I'm not impressed. But yeah, I mean, that's a pretty cool item, isn't it? It certainly is. And we're going to have that soon. So we're going to let him come a little bit closer. And we're going to go there. And he's going to try and swing it, I believe. And he managed to get us. Good job, Mr. Man. With the tail that we are attacking. I'm glad I noticed that. Okay, cool, whatever. It doesn't matter if he actually kills us. Actually, you know what? Because I do kind of want to use this. I mean, we are not really going to have a proper, proper use for this necessarily, but we might as well use it now. Alright, now we are a, a brown man, which is lovely. Let's go to here before crazy crap happens. Okay. We only have it when we have full health. It's kind of like that, uh, what do you call it? The grandma's soup from whatchamacallit game? Yeah, Wind Waker. <laughs> whatchamacallit game. Yeah, right. Anyway, let's go over here. Okay, so now that we have an empty bottle, we will be able to fill that with, I don't know, maybe that's soup. Speaking of soup, that's not grandma's soup though, that's a different soup. That's Yeti's soup, I suppose. And then he... face plants, I guess? He takes a long time to die. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, do your sheathing. And this giant thing has been left for us. Which is kind of unexpected, really. But yeah, so we're gonna go pick this thing up. Take. You got the ball and chain. This giant iron ball has incredible power. Set it to Y or X. Okay, so as you can see, we have the ball and chain, which is a pretty crazy weapon. So I was trying to break all of those big icicle things with the, or not icicles, but that, the big blocks of ice with the cannon, which was a sensible thing to do, but as you can see, we can just use the ball and chain to destroy it like that. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we need to, yeah, okay, so we can break like everything, we can just annihilate all things with the ball and chain. It's a pretty cool weapon, I have to say. Anyway, let us now open this chest and get something that is not... Oh, look at that, Auton Goat Cheese, yeah. Hilarious game. Oh, food again? Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure of herself. Oh, well, let's head back and hope she has some other brilliant idea. Oh, it's this guy, hi. But instead he is a nice fellow. Oh, what?! <laughs> what?! An orange rupee, what? I don't even understand, who cares? I really don't care. <laughs> okay, so let us head out of this room. And I'm going to destroy all of the big blocks of ice. I mean, I don't really know what to call them. I guess ice blocks, but ice blocks sounds like something tasty. And I don't think that these things over here are tasty, but anyway. Oh, we can probably destroy these frickin' wolves if we want. Okay, come on. Come over here, wolf. Oh, there we go. That was a one-shot. Nice and easy there. Anyway, 
You know, we have been out of arrows for a long time. I'm probably going to have to go to Marlow Mart and buy them now that I think about it. Oh god, stop this. Okay. Oh, I might as well go and destroy this stuff over here. No. Oh, wow. There we go. I managed to get that. I was about to say, oh, wow. We managed to miss that, but we did get it in the end. Oh, look. Come on. Yeah. Missed him there. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Yeah. Come on. Oh, damn it. I missed him. <laughs> come on. Come on. Get over here. You are terrible. You are horrible. Okay, fine. Put it away. Let's get going. So we're already reasonably far through this dungeon already, as you can imagine. But I'm pretty sure this next lot, or this next uh, direction that we're going to be going is in, is going to take a little bit longer than the others. That's just to my memory. What happened? Uh, what? Cheese. Uh, did my husband move it? Uh, where in the world did we put it? Sorry, I need thinking time. Take cheese to husband. Uh, you do that, I try to remember. Okay. Will do, person. Uh, of course, what this means, basically, is we're going to get the shit beaten out of us again, which is great fun. Anyway. Uh, needs more punch. Uh, what smell? What smell? Good smell. What you have, uh? Then he, <laughs> of course, does that. Mmm, perfect ingredient. Just drops it in, you know. Little more time on fire, it become gourmet soup. Here, taste. I don't want a freaking taste. Anyway. <laughs> Not when you're beating the shit out of me. I'm not impressed about that situation, anyway. Let's go and talk to the woman again. I think I remember. We put key in the nearby room, so no forgetting. I'm not going to do the er uh anymore. How I forget. Embarrassing. See? Here. Place marked by symbol. Well, thank you. Anyway. So we're going to go through the next door. It's pretty obvious that this is indeed what we need to be doing, as in, you know, going through all of the doors here that are... that have the grates down that are stopping us from going through. I mean, obviously they're not going to <laughs> turn it into a mystery where we don't really know where is where. That's not really what I meant to say anyway, it doesn't matter. Surely we can use the ball and chain to destroy that guy. Pretty sure we can, let's go do that. Don't use that. You know, I of course wanted to use it at that... Not at that time, I mean. I wanted to use it, but not at that time. That's ridiculous. There's so many of these guys. I should just throw a bomb in there, to be honest. Oh no, I could just throw the ball and chain. That would be a better idea. Yeah, when you pull it back, the ball does have a use to it as well. It's not just the forward impact, it's the pulling it back. Okay, that's just dumb. I'm throwing a bomb in there now. You're giving me the shits, mate. Come on. Throwing a bomb in. That's just terrible. Let's do that again. No, did you, that's probably going to get it, you know. Did that get it? That totally got it. And it was totally unnecessary for me to do that anyway. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let us go up here. There's another one of these things. Hello. Okay, cool. I don't really mind if you do that. Let's do that again. And you are dead. Let's try and destroy all of these guys. Alright, that is all of them dead now. Cool. I mean, this dungeon is really giving us an opportunity to have fun with this ball and chain, which is great. I mean, the ball and chain is a really cool item to use in general. I really, I really quite enjoy it. So that is a locked door there. I guess this floor is going to disappear at some point, or something along those lines, I don't know. Uh, what's going on here? What would we need to use this for? Hmm. Right, I think we... Okay. Okay. I think I can imagine what we need to do there. But anyway, let us go down to this level first. And head over here. I'm sure we're going to be getting a key somewhere around here. So we have been in here before. I guess we'll grab this, or push it, whatever we're going to do with it. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Okay, we did that, apparently. Uh, there's nothing to do over here. But we didn't go up here before because, well, I don't know. I didn't really have any logical reason why I didn't come up here before, but I just didn't. But of course, we wouldn't have been able to kill this guy before. But now that we have the ball and chain, we can do that. Is he just going to keep doing that? Are you serious? 
That's not very nice. You're not very nice, mister. Okay, well, that's weird. Okay, well, I guess what we'll do for now is we'll go and take this ball. And put it in the little thing here. I don't really know what to call this. It's like a... I don't even know what to call that. I'm sure it has a proper term. Are you dumb? Okay, whatever, just put it in. Come on, let's go. No wasting time. No more wasting time. Come on. Just looking at the time here, we do have a little bit of time. Well, not a little bit of time. We still have another uh, 12 minutes or so left of this recording. Anyway, uh, let us now... Come on. There we go. So, I guess we'll go and take this ball with us now. <sighs> Let me think about this. I mean, I can imagine what we want to do. We want to use a, a cannon to destroy that freaking enemy, but I don't even know. Hmm. Whatever, let's just... Where? Huh? I don't get it. I guess we might as well try this out. I mean, what's that going to blow up? Is that going to blow a hole in... Does jack shit is what it does. Um, okay. There is literally a door right there that we did not go through. <laughs> Good job, Doom Link. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm sure you guys were screaming at me about that, but whatever. At least I hope that that... Oh, no. It's one of these guys again. Okay. Uh, oh, I know. Yes. That is exactly... Oh, and look at that. What a good... What a good thing. <laughs> okay. We don't have to deal with those guys anymore. How excellent is that? Okay, let's use the ball and chain there. We opened up a hookshot point. We probably should equip the... I keep on saying hookshot, but, you know, it's just a habit. It is called the hookshot in literally every other Zelda game, so I can't be blamed. Can't be blamed. Uh, what is that that I'm targeting? Oh, right. I get it. So we want to be knocking this thing back and forth. Oh, we don't want to keep the frickin'. I'll probably knock it again. To give it some more movement. So with this thing rocking backwards and forwards, as you can tell, we're going to be able to reach this chest. That That is so good. Of course, a lot of the Zelda world kind of... How it allows you to work out things, basically, is that it likes to kind of imagine the curiosity behind the person playing the game. So... You know, for instance, oh, there's something to target there. Let me let me target it and see what's going on. And then the first thing you do is try to use an item on it. And generally, the item that you have on hand at this point in time in the dungeon would be the ball and chain. And so you do that and, well, <laughs> you've got no problems, basically, because you're literally solving the puzzle at hand. So it's just interesting how that works. Of course, it doesn't work all the time. It's not instant like that, but, you know... It is a lot of the time. So I guess it always does help to have these little claw shot targets there, but anyway. Uh, let us now do another one of these. Looks like we only need to do it once, and that's going to be enough. Okay, I was getting a little bit ahead of myself there. That's, uh, that's quite annoying, actually. I'm not impressed with that. That was a bad spot for us to fall. Okay, I'm going to cut, and I'll see you guys back up there. Alright, so I'm back. <laughs> Very annoying that that happened. See, ultimately we didn't need to do this multiple times, but I just, I jumped way too early. That is terrible. Okay, come on, get up there. No, fucking you are horrible. I hate this guy so much, I really do. That is just enough. No, 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 please. Okay, he missed. Thank God. Okay, get the thing out. Thank you. I really do hate those guys so much. Okay, I don't think they're... Yeah, we don't want to go that way. Let's just go straight ahead here. And I think I've got an idea of what we want to be doing here. So... Okay, well, we can probably just use the ball and chain here. And then bring that back. Come on. Come on. Better accuracy. Of course, we can... L target enemies with the ball and chain to get better accuracy. There's another thing that we need a key for, apparently, but... Anyway. 
Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, there's a Poe there. Let's go say hello to the Poe. Hello, Poe. Hello, Poe. I may do three videos in one this time around because I do kind of want to get this dungeon over and done with. So, I say over and done with as if it's a terrible experience. It's actually not too bad. I quite enjoy it, but still. I mean, I don't know why I enjoy it now and I didn't so much enjoy it before, but whatever. You got the pose soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the deal. I know the deal. Okay, so... What did that achieve? Well, it doesn't seem that there was anything in here other than a pose, so that's fine. It is fair enough, because pose are kind of important to the story. Well, not really the story. Kind of a side story, I suppose. Not the central story of the whole game, but... Yeah. So anyway, um... I suppose we need a key soon. Okay. Uh, what's... Do we want to push that? Yeah. Okay, will do. What did that do? Did something. No, don't do that. That's terrible. That's definitely not what I wanted. Let me see. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. All right. I understand. I understand. Okay, so that down there, that switch must be for... Wait, what? What would that do? Would that create like a... A walkway? Or would that... Oh, that would open this. Okay, that would probably open that then. That makes sense. Okay, and then we'd get up here. How? Is there anything to hookshot to? This is an interesting room. I'm not really too sure. Maybe... Oh, we must access it by doing that. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, we should just need these, these three blocks that we have available to us here now. Anyway, I think we just need to go and smash this. Smashes the ice around there. I think we'll move it this way first. I think that could make sense. Maybe. I don't know. I think we want another... I think we want another one of these, to be honest. I don't know. Whatever, let's try this out. I've never really... Well, I've obviously done this before, but... I think we want to get all of these blocks moving to start with. Um... Don't really know how this is working, to be honest. I'm just going to keep on going and see what this is going to do for me as time goes on. I'm really not a fan of this ice, of course. I mean, I don't really like all of this ice doing stupid crap. Alright, fine. I'll check online, for God's sake. Alright, I think I've got it, guys. Okay. I think I've got it. I really, really do hate these kinds of puzzles. I really do. I don't like them. I've never liked them. Okay, now that we're done there, cool. Let us now progress. See, the reason why I like to look at the walkthroughs occasionally, the only reason why I would ever want to do it is simply because... You know, if there's a stupid puzzle like that, I really do hate those sorts of puzzles, and I just want to save everyone's time, my time and your viewing time, and, you know, have it be much less of a headache, basically. Anyway, I think I'm going to make three videos in one this time around. Oh, dear. Okay, uh, let's try and get this guy with a ball and chain. Cool. So that turned out well. Uh, now where are we going? 